everyone and welcome to Many Fingers with Miss Taryn. Today for our virtual STEM preschool program, we are going to be creating something. Um, our program today is called Marshmallow Engineering and you can pick up your kit at the library starting today while supplies last. You can either visit us on the second floor of the library in the children's department or you can pull into our curbside parking spot and then call the number and we'll bring out a kit to you. All right, so let me tell you about our activity today. So first of all, you'll have a paper bag once you pick up your kit. And then inside of it, you'll have an instruction sheet. You'll have some toothpicks and some mini marshmallows, as well as some jumbo marshmallows, which I do not have today. Okay, you'll also have either some really cool little cards that will help you build your shapes, or you'll have a printout of the same one. They're just not a little bitty. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do today, you have the freedom to make whatever you like. So with Many Thinkers, um, our program is typically designed for kids ages three to five, um, preschool age children getting ready for to build those skills, those early literacy skills, so that they'll be prepared for school. So um, this is a science and technology experiment today because it teaches your little one how to take something like a marshmallow and a toothpick and build something out of that. So they get to practice problem solving skills and also use their own creativity. And then they also learn about shapes. So there's a little bit of math and geometry mixed in with it, okay? So on the front, I have some things that you can make. So I've listed, use the cards to build these shapes. So the cards that you have, or the sheet, will show you how to make each of these shapes, okay? And then also on the back, there are some other ideas of more than just shapes. So we'll go into that as well, okay? So you should have some marshmallows. You should have little bitty ones. A few of you may have some large marshmallows too. All right, so first of all, I'm going to build a square with my marshmallows and my toothpicks, all right? So I'm gonna take it like this, stick the toothpick in here on the side and I need to get another marshmallow, okay, and then get another toothpick, all right, another marshmallow, Oops. make that one come through the other side, another toothpick, Another marshmallow. Now the cards will tell you how many toothpicks you need and how many marshmallows you need. Okay, so I just did a square because it is a simple one and I want you to figure out how to make the other ones too. All right, so here is my marshmallow square made with toothpicks and marshmallows. And so it is not able to stand on its own but if I wanted to, I could start building something with this as a base. All right, so on the front of your card, it'll say, use the cards to build these shapes, square, a cube, which is like a square, but with sides, basically, rectangle, triangle, pentagon, hexagon, rhombus, okay? So your cards will help you figure out how to make each of these shapes. All right, so, I'm going to show you how to make each of them because I want you guys to figure it out. But um, feel free to look at the examples. This one is build a hexagon. You'll also have um, build a square, build a cube, build a triangle, all kinds of stuff. Okay, so once you've done some of those, you can always, if you want to keep your masterpiece the way it is, you can do that or you can take it apart and use it for something else. Okay. I'm gonna use this bottom one, this, this uh, square, 
as a base for something else. So if we flip over our little sheet onto the back side, it gives us some ideas for creating your own, okay? So you could build a tower as tall as you can with all the marshmallows and toothpicks that you have. You could build something that has a square base, which is what I have right here. You could build something that has a triangular base, so a triangle, or you could make an animal out of these shapes. So you could look at a picture, look at something on the internet, look at your pet and see if you could try to make your pet out of these shapes. All right. So um, what I'm going to do is build something with a square base. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. But I'm going to start from the bottom up using my toothpicks. And I want to use my marshmallows kind of as my glue. Uh-oh. And that's okay. That happens. That's just, you know. Okay. You can use different sides of the marshmallow. You can talk about maybe why it is working or why it isn't working. Now what I'm going to try to do is connect it in the middle. Okay, so I'm going to put some more toothpicks here. See, it really is falling apart until I get something to hold it together. Okay, so this part right here, I don't know how much you guys can see. Um, I'm putting one marshmallow with two toothpicks in it. And see if it works. It may not work. Okay, and that's all right. So this is an experiment. So there are lots of ways to do this one. All right, so now, I'm going to try to make this do the same thing on this side. Put these two pieces inside the same marshmallow and see if it'll hold up. Well, kind of. <laughs> so I have made like a tent. I have made like a three dimensional triangle, like a pyramid, basically. Okay, so you'll see here. This part is a triangle. The bottom part, remember, I made a square. So all these sides, they make they look a little bit funny, but it's like a pyramid. So you have triangle shapes all the way around and then a square on the bottom. So triangle has three sides and then a square has four equal sides. All right, so um, this activity, again, you can use more. Um, I did an example of both, um, both exercises on the front and the back, and I didn't even use half of my marshmallows, so feel free to make another thing. I could continue building if I wanted to on this. Build out to the side, put something up on the top, whatever I wanted to do. Oops. Be careful with it. Okay. So, in addition to building problem solving skills and teaching your child about science and some math with the shapes, you're also learning about um, your, you're exploring the world with your senses. So, what do these materials feel like? What does it feel like when I touch them? What about, what do I see? So, why is a marshmallow something that is good to use um, to build? With toothpicks. You can talk about that. What is it about a marshmallow that makes it good to build with? Okay, you might have some ideas there. All right, what does it smell like? We know what marshmallows smell like. Um, what does it sound like? Is there a certain sound that it makes? And it may not, but these are all different conversation starters you can use with your little one. Um, you're also developing fine motor skills with your kid um, because they're, they're using their fingers to connect the marshmallows to the toothpicks. All right, so 
that is it for today's virtual mini thinkers program again you guys can pick up these kits so that you can do them at home um, come to the children's desk on the second floor of the library starting today while supplies last and also if you don't feel comfortable coming into the library come to our curbside service call us and we'll bring a kit out to you all right thanks for joining me i'll see you next time